made payments yes. going back from to 2007 right, where but, he but would I think, pay things to go away. Right, but he, but that's not a payment because it was, a, it was an embarrassment, right? He's saying that it was a personal thing. He was trying to make sure and protect her from that story, which means that it's not a pattern. And if I were them, I would say then that's actually better for Trump. How's that not a pattern because, if he's doing it consistently? Because he's not doing it for just for the campaign. Oh, but right? he was doing right. it at exactly. the time while running as president. Okay. But here's the thing. What about Morgan? Morgan, in here? Morgan, Morgan has no, not spoken. I, Gosh, you guys ever going to let me finish? Okay. No, All because right. you're always finishing. <laughs> There's somebody sitting there who hasn't said a damn word. You are so deep in the bunker and you... Oh, just, shut up, Juan. I'm spew, in nobody's spew, bunker. Spew, spew. We, we, I mean, it's Juan, not enough in your bunker. In and then you can I'm reply. trying to be, okay. I'm so trying to be polite to somebody say. on the panel, Juan, well, which you won't do. Which you won't do. Then let her speak. So I think oh the, the question here today is, is did he come to heal America? Did he come to tell the truth? Is he a changed man, right? Because you, you, then you have to believe that none of everything that he said before, which there's a litany of things before Congress, under oath, in media interviews, you either believe that version of Michael Cohen or you believe the one today. I found it to be far more political than I expected, actually. I mean, first of all, when, you're in, when the president is in the middle of negotiating uh, with North Korea about nuclear weapons, which, by the way, the real news today is that India and Pakistan, two nuclear armed states, are threatening each other again. I mean, that is real news today that affects everybody. That's why the president is in North Korea dealing with, uh, excuse me, in Vietnam, dealing with North Korea because of the seriousness of nuclear weapons. So I think because they've moved this three times, they could have moved it today. It didn't need to happen today. That was very overtly political. Um, and, and I felt that, you know, most of what he said today for me, I didn't buy the contrition. I didn't buy the tears. I think I thought it was very political testimony. And so the big question is, who, who does any of this matter to? It matters primarily to Senate Republicans, because the House is going to do what the House is going to do. They may overextend and impeach him. But Senate Republicans are the ones who will determine, if the House impeaches, what his uh, fate is. And there was nothing that he said today, for me, that would lead any of these Senate Republicans to vote him out of office. You disagree with that? I don't I mean to me what's going on with Republicans is I don't know what it's going to take for Republicans to finally stand up and say, you know, this is unacceptable, this kind of behavior. I mean, if any other president was involved with this kind of activity, people would be saying what this, kind this, of activity? This, oh, my gosh. The payoffs while you're in office to a porn star personal oh, expenditure. How about we Russia? Me- how about how about working with the Russians in terms of WikiLeaks? How about the he didn't Trump work sign? with the Russians? <laughs> about, did I just you listen to you, the testimony. I did. And that's why I'm saying when you have a situation here and I'm quoting here from Chris Christie, Trump's former friend, who said when he's looked at these hearings today, what he saw was Republicans are attacking Mr. Cohen, they never defend Donald Trump because they can't. All right, so if you guys are just joining us, let's play some of the sound from today's hearings and we can react some more. Go ahead. I am ashamed because I know what Mr. Trump is. He is a racist, he is a con man, and he is a cheat. How on earth is this witness credible? With all the lies and deception, the self-serving fraud, it begs the question, what is the majority party doing here? I wouldn't use the word colluding. Um, Was there something odd about the back and forth praise with President Putin? Yes. Mr. Cohen, you called Donald Trump a cheat in your opening testimony. Uh, What would you call yourself? fool. You're a patholog- pathological liar. You don't know truth from, from, tr- from falsehood. Sir, it's I'm sorry. Now. Are you, you, are know, you referring to time. me or the president? Hey, this is my time. Wow. All right. Got a little testy there at the end, Greg. Uh, his credibility, obviously, the main issue. But, he, but here's what he knows about the world. He knows that if you are a dirtbag, the best way to become an undirtbag is to turn yourself into a gratification machine for the media. You match their assumptions. That's your rehab. Your rehab isn't becoming a better person. Your rehab is agreeing with the people 
who are in the media. Now, you also notice that when the left has somebody up there that they want to hear, there's never any interruptions. There's no screaming. There's no infantile nuts with signs. <laughs> when, when, when that's up there, yeah. it's clear. When he's up there, it's clear. But you put Aspel or Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. Or, or anybody up there, the loony bin unloads. So what does that tell you about tolerance and freedom of the speech from the left? When they have somebody up there to destroy the president, oh, they are so polite. But if they have somebody up there who's actually trying to do a job, they'll destroy you. It's hypocrisy at its height. Uh, I'll tell you what hypocrisy is. Uh, yes. People who say, oh, gee, you know, I believe Michael Cohen when he says uh, the president never paid any women to have abortions. Uh, you know what, this thing about a love child, nah, nah. And you know, money laundering, beating his wife in the elevator, not true. Okay, so I believe Michael Cohen on that. But when he starts talking about Trump Jr. coming in to tell his dad about the tower meeting with the... But Russians, who are you talking oh, about? That's Juan, who are you talking about? about That's called Juan, who are you talking about? I'm talking about you people name the names. who wave... And this is, this is funny to me, by the way. You saw Chairman Cummings yeah. stop the hearings to protect a Republican against a charge of rape and behave in what I thought was the most ethical and clearly... Uh, a, a man of great decorum in that moment, and you're saying, oh, no, they only interrupt the Republicans. That's not true. Juan, you, you have not said one thing that actually happened in the hearing. The Don <laughs> Jr. thing, he testified, Michael Cohen today, quote, I have no direct evidence of any Russian collusion. You know what his only evidence was? Don Jr. came into the office one time and whispered something into his Correct. dad's ear. That's what he That's said. what he thinks That's is what the evidence said. of anything? No, no, no. He has no documentation, no corroboration, of no what? witnesses of any Russian collusion, oh. of any Trump Tower advanced knowledge. He had nothing, I Juan. See. About, he, nothing about Roger Stone, nothing about the sun coming in just before right. the meeting. Yeah, exactly. We no. just went through Russia. That's Stone pretty ridiculous. But again, you are so blind because you, like Greg, are deep in the bunker. You know, if you say that again, I'm going to throw you off the set. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, you know, because you know what the, you oh, know what the bunker oh. means? What you're intimating is that who is in the bunker? Adolf Hitler, correct? No, I was no, 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 that's what you're saying. You are that so is far your, off. No, but you when you say so, somebody is in, in the bunker. You're in a weak you're, position that no, you're now screaming. No, Juan, 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 you what, you, Juan what you're saying is you choose the worst intent of people's words. No. Like when I say that I believe something, I'm in the bunker. What if I said that about you? I what never about, say that about, about you. We're not going to talk get about the bunker anymore. We're going to get Morgan in here to talk about the, her thoughts about <laughs> the hearing. Yeah, so for me, one of the questions I was looking at coming in today is, if you look at a historical precedence, would this be similar to John Dean, of course, the White House counsel who testified about...